Welcome to the Get Your Ass Up Podcast. I'm Tony, the closer. I'm here to inspire and motivate you to never give up on your dreams. As a former NFL athlete who overcame personal setbacks like going to jail and bankruptcy, I turned my life around to become one of the top salesmen in the world. And this podcast will feature celebrity guests, successful entrepreneurs, and my incredible network to give you real-world advice on how to achieve success in all aspects of life. Whether you're looking to build a successful business, achieve financial freedom, or simply need some motivation to keep pushing forward, we've got you covered. Man, we've had amazing celebrity guests on here like Dame Dash, T.I., my boy Joe Hayden, and Edrian James, Andre Berto, and more, sharing their stories and insights on how to reach their full potential. Listen, so are you ready to get your ass up and achieve your dreams? Hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss an episode of the Get Your Ass Up podcast with me, your boy Tony the Closer. Let's dive in. Let's change your life together. Let's go. You should ask me that on camera. I'm about to ask you that shit, nigga. We live. <laughs> <laughs> we live? We live, nigga. Man, yeah. I ain't no wheels live. Yeah, we live, nigga. What the fuck? I'm putting lotion on it. All that shit. We okay, on the bill. Okay, okay, okay. Black niggas, man. Okay, pop out shit. Yeah. But I ain't black. I'm shalate. <laughs> it's a German chocolate mixed with a cross the track flavor. It's shalate. Look at this fucking skin. It's called shalate. I used to, st it's like one of my nicknames. I got like 50 nicknames. Hey, bro, man. First off, hey, y'all, y'all see what's going on today. We went and got a legend. Um, Boosie Badass in the building, man. Uh, had to uh, reach out to a brother. I wanted to bring him on the show. It's extremely honored to have you here, bro. Um, Appreciate it, bro. You like, a, you like every day, you somebody I look forward to to see what you got to say. Yeah. Uh, so to, to be sitting right next to you to be able to hear what you got to say is is, is uh is super dope, man. You you speak shit that I think everybody be thinking, and uh, they might be afraid to say, man. And that's one of those things that really got me beyond your uh, your music, really uh, engaged with your platform. That motherfucker get gone like every couple of weeks. It's a new, yeah. It's a new, yeah. It's a new one. Yeah. yeah. What's up with you on uh in Instagram, man? You you in the beef with Mark or what? Like uh. You know, I didn't say some. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't say some shit on Twitter that I wasn't supposed to say about nobody. You know, but uh, yeah, they just took my uh, America's Most Wanted because of some somebody else posted. I didn't even post it on my Instagram. The day after I get to a million followers, they took it because the video with me with the police that I didn't even post. A um, police posted that or some shit. And I got my IG took. So, you know, it's, but I'm like the kid at the school who been there about 10 years. You know, at high school, the nigga, in the, the nigga every time you go to the game, the nigga still there. He been post to graduated. He still jumping the fence. I'm still jumping the fence. My new Instagram, Mama He Live Again 2.0. Mama He Live Again 2.0. Y'all follow me. <laughs> I'm going to keep jumping the fence. He got money in the school. Hey, hey, speaking of that, right? The money in the school, right? You make you make a ton of money. Um, well, most people associate your money just with probably what you do with, with being an artist, but uh you make a ton of money with, with just your social media page, uh your IG, you know, talk about what you get paid for like promo, posting, et cetera. What's that look like? Uh what, what's the cause to get a post from Boosie? It depends on if it's just a post on my Instagram. I really get paid off my drops. Mm -hmm. That's a key part of my repertoire, like my drops for businesses, my drops for concerts, just my drops and my energy for your brand. So, you know, that's 15 or 20, you know, just the, they got the best shit, make your dick hard, you know, all that shit. 30, 40 seconds. Yeah. 15, yeah. 20K. Over and over again. And I be seeing you working. I be seeing the motherfuckers up there. Yeah. That's what's up. It's a part of my repertoire. Like, it's, it's rap hustle, bro. Like, <laughs> like people, I hope, I hope them young niggas seeing that shit that, you know, that energy from them drops and, you know, that's a whole nother bag, you know, that, that a lot of people can get. You know, you just got to, just got to do it. You created a brand outside of 
just you know going to shows or or to a club at night like you you got it to wear and this is you know unique man because you come from you went to jail you were facing life in prison mm-hmm. um and most people like definitely big companies and shit typically shy away from a your 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 character your past that type of shit in right, the first place right 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 and it's pretty it's pretty interesting man like either you've had a hell of a transition in life like or you are, are a phenomenal actor, but you've been able to get everybody not even to see your past anymore. Your persona of what you deliver as far as humor, rawness, and this is just like straight real talk. What even it caught me because, you know, I wasn't. I'm not. You know, down south music. Some music. I you know, obviously like some of your turn up club songs. I, yeah. I was like, yeah, Boosie, I fuck with it. But I never was like super, super heavy into you know just the the down south music. But what what caught me with you, man, is your personality and like you talk that shit and you you gotta you say funny shit. And then obviously we all saw when the lives was going like yeah. you had yeah. you had the, the IG lives where they was just out of control, like they was the litest lives ever. Yeah. Um, but this engaged us on a different level that took us off like the you know the music in your past. Now you got all these brands that and people that want to spend money to be in alignment with you. Um I knew what I was doing. Yeah. When I came home, I knew what I was doing. When I came home and I saw Instagram, like if some a lot of people ain't some people ain't see my DVDs. I've been a stupid nigga. I've been like this. Every DVD I've been like this. It's just I knew when because when I came home, a lot of people feared me. Mm-hmm. They were showing a lot of fear. And um I was like, I gotta show my other side. I'm a stupid nigga, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I knew what I was doing. I was trying to take people's mind off all the negativity. Right. And you know, with my music and you know, I knew what I was doing. I was just showing my my real character on the platform that was touching everybody. And um, I knew I was gonna act stupid. You know, I, I already knew this because I ain't like how people was looking at me. When I came home, yeah, it's it's, it's dope though because now obviously it's something that has more longevity than than most people even anticipate in a rap career. Uh, when you start building out this brand, where everybody uh, wants to align with you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I heard you mention uh, earlier you get like fifty k an interview too, right? Uh, some was up to that. Depends on who you is. It depends on. I look out for some people, you know. I get top dollar interviews, top notch. Why? Why does everybody want Boosie on the show? <clears throat> Cause I do numbers. Nobody do numbers like me. Like I'm a <laughs> numbers don't like I, I ain't nobody doing numbers like me, and ain't nobody a open book like me. I'm an open motherfucking book. I don't ain't no PR coming here and say you can't ask him this, you can't ask him that. You want to hear about the world? You want hear? I'm an open book, and this and this game ain't free. Yeah. Because, you know, they going to make money forever off my interview. This shit going to do, you going to make money forever. You know, this, it's faulty, you know, that's, you know, that ain't going to last, you know, long as these interviews going to last. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a, it's a even swap, you know? Yeah. Yep. What, uh. So but ain't nobody going to fuck up your interview like me. <laughs> it, it's, it's a fact. I get paid top dollar. You, it. it you say some of the shit that just be like, yo, this nigga is crazy, man. Yeah, hey, I know it's the crazy, but it's the truth. I be speaking the truth. People be, I be speaking the truth. Bro. You been taking some backlash recently. I seen you talk about Jeffrey Dahmer uh, and your thoughts on that. And everybody's like, well, Boosie, you a murderer. Nah, bro. They like, bro, I'm a not guilty motherfucker. This is a beast. <laughs> Have you seen it? I ain't watched it, bro. Please don't. I ain't watched it, bro. Please don't. I was like, how old are you? I'm 39. You 39, so you 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 remember? Yeah. You remember? It's sick. It's nasty. It's filthy. And them fucking glasses when he come around that corner. His house smell like shit and ass. Yeah, I done met some people in Milwaukee who say I was living in the building. I smelled ass and shit. 
Yeah, my boy Steve O R A N T smell ass and shit. Man, this man was sick. Wait till you see it. No, I ain't watching that shit. Yeah, bro. no, hey, 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 hey. I got I ain't get paid, bro. It's sad, bro. I ain't like that. I ain't like how people was glorifying that shit. So I spoke my mind, you know. And I'm gonna keep on speaking my mind. I wouldn't that Jeffrey Dahmer shit is. Bro, and like I said, bro, like. You bringing all them families through that again. Got some family members that ain't even know about this shit. That's probably family secret. Mm-hmm. You can't take them to the store and buy them no joys. Netflix can't buy them a pair of fucking Reeboks. They finna relive this all again. And I was just speaking my mind, bro, and, and that's how I feel about certain shit. I know if, bro, like, I don't be feeling certain shit, and when I speak on it, it hit home because other people won't speak on it too, you know, like out of all these entertainers, filmmakers like me, is other people won't say stuff. It's it Boosie can't be the only one I feel like I feel. It can't be, bro. It's not a good ratio. Not if everybody's street niggas. It's one of them streets, somebody gotta feel the same way I feel. Would you agree with that? Somebody got to feel the same way Boosie feel. <coughs> <coughs> they just a, ain't got the nuts to say it. It's a lot of people that agree with you. That's why That's why people be like, yo, Boosie crazy, but they fuck with what you're saying. Right. Like the message is like, yeah, I fuck with it. God damn, I can't believe you stepped out there and was the one to say it. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things like I, you hear right now, uh, Everybody talking about black ball. Yeah. Um, you hear that talked about a lot heavy. I know you rock with the baby. Right. Um, and, and and they were saying that basically the baby has been black ball uh, due to some of the comments and things that he's had to go through uh, on last year or this past year. What you what do you think about black ball? Do you think that's something that's real? Do you think the baby is black ball? Uh, look like it to me. You know, that's just my opinion. Uh, and I looked at that as far as the sales. I was like 150k to 15k. That shit don't make no sense to me. Uh, so uh, I definitely think he was blackballed. You know, I can't call out no names because I don't even know no names or no positions who can do it. You know, I just uh, I what just like fuck? what can create that type of drop though. You talking about six figures in sales to. 15, I mean, I mean, he stayed in the he stayed in the news. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't forgot about it. He did like he hid under a rug. He stayed in some shit. Yeah, he's, he's I mean, he shit. stayed all over in some shit. And if you stay in shit, that's what make you say a record. Let's keep it real. You being in a lot of shit, talking about a lot of shit, makes you sell records. You know, he slept with celebrities, he, rappers. He slept with. He slept with rappers, like, you know, his baby mama celebrity. His music didn't go down. Like, his videos, his quality didn't go down. His features, nigga doing features with people in other countries. In other countries. He wasn't doing that his first album. So I just feel like something has somebody, something, somebody pushed the button on him. I don't know who, can't say. I just, that's how I feel. Yeah, that, that definitely was something like, damn, you know, you, you see the numbers come up and you're like, I mean, the, for for the streams that you see him have, like on Spotify, he's like one of the top streaming artists up there um, to to drop, in, you know, an album and having 15,000 the first week was like, wow. Definitely. Um, that, that was something that was crazy. Uh, do you feel like in your career you've been blackballed? Oh, they've been trying to blackball me. But have you been blackballed? I'm kind of harder to blackball than other people. You know what I'm saying? They didn't try to blackball me with uh, a lot of shit, bro. Like, I got my, my my whole career, I've been having roadblocks. And it's no lie, bro. Like, they've been trying to s- stop me from seeing my my peak, you know, my, my, my total potential, bro. Like, uh, all kind of ways, man. Uh, 
from my movies to my music to my to everything, you know. Uh, they got a wave of people trying to stop Boosie. Uh, they trying to do whatever they can, but uh, it's hard to stop me, bro. Like I'm a, I'm a legend for real, and I'm a hustler. So, uh, and I still got a fan base that that love, that truly love me, not just the rappers. Love me as a person, as everything. So they gonna always support me, bro. So. Uh, that's how I think when I hustle. You know, he might have way more fans than supporting him, but if I got this amount of fans supporting nine different things, you know, I'm straight. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, those roadblocks, them up, they gonna get knocked down, bro, because uh, I don't stop and I'm steady building. I'm steady building. I'm steady getting smarter. I'm steady doing three, four things at one time, big projects. Like, you can't stop that. I put out an album anytime I want. Like, you you can't stop that. And I pay me. You know, don't pay me for no movies. Movies $12.99, Get everything. Well, yeah. um, speaking of your movies, you. Boostmovie.com, uh... yep. So BootsyMovie.com is is Bootsy Movie. That's the first movie you did, right? Or is that where, where? that's on? That's my website. That's, that's where website. I drop all my films okay. at. Yeah. So you did two movies so far, right? Yeah, I got two movies on there right now, and I got three live albums on there. So first movie uh, was My Struggle. Okay. Was... And I just dropped Water Boys last week. Which one did better? My Struggle. My, my struggle. struggle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about first week sales in comparison? Uh, my first week sales on this one was like probably a couple hundred. My first one, my first one for the other one was like one point five, so you know, mm -hmm. meal like that. I'm crazy, dope. What well, um, <clears throat> what made you uh, decide to go go your own way into creating? Uh, your own movies? Uh, because uh, all the movie sites, they was offering me, you know, they was offering me a million dollars for a year, and keep my movie for a year, 500,000. And, you know, uh, I wasn't respected as a, you know, a director, executive producer. I wasn't respected. So the numbers, they just... Mm -hmm. It just wasn't right, so I, I said, I'm going to do it myself. And uh, the money they tried to pay me, I made it in two days. <laughs> yeah. And so I would have had it. Yeah. The money they tried to pay me, I, I did the right thing. Man. Yeah. You know, and I still own all my shit, you know. Even though go talk to them later on, you know, but I made the right decision. Started my own website. You know, I got my own. I put my own albums on there. Uh, I just did my paperwork with my lawyers when I'm bringing other movies on on there right now. So I'm trying to be boostymovie.com like a like a Netflix. You know. You know. You know. What's very interesting is that I got TCTV, uh, Tony the Closer TV Network. So, okay. So I was thinking, uh, same capacity. You know, um, from you know my main thing is I teach people real estate. So. I put all my real estate content, course, everything on the TV network, and I put like credit, uh, podcasts, interviews, putting it all, all housing, <coughs> <coughs> all being housed now on one platform. So, so like watching, you know, you you lose, you know, your IG. I had my IG taken away, um, and you find out really quickly how important it is to be able to have your people somewhere centralized where at least you can be like, hey, y'all, uh, I'm still here. Definitely for your most engaged people. Right, right. right. Um, so, man, I, I was like, let's go for it. Earlier this year, I started that, man, and I, I love the idea that, and I respect it because first and foremost, uh, ownership is key, right? Right, right. But but more importantly, like, you get to really <clears throat> establish a value for yourself. You you found out and improved some things to yourself you probably – didn't, didn't expect. even expect. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. you start making them type of uh, numbers and you fucking creating your own content. 
now it's like, damn, how much more can I create on beyond that? Right, right. And I liked it because, you know, nobody could lie to me. Nobody could, you know, I pull my computer up in front of myself mm -hmm. and watch every cell from every city where it's coming from. You know, it's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> watch it going to the account the next day, you know. Yeah. Bullshit. I love that shit, man. I, um, you know, I sell sell courses. Uh, just the other day, I did a big sale where I told everybody they can pay whatever they want. My course normally two thousand dollars. I said, "Hey, you pay whatever you want." They go on the website. They up there paying ten dollars for my two thousand dollar course. Damn, seven thousand people just bought in. Yeah, you know, we got six figure plus day. Yeah, you know, paid the next day. Yeah, yeah. You know? I know the feeling. Shit feels good. <laughs> <laughs> that brand, I tell people the power of a brand, man, is something that, like, if you take care of your shit and you do it, do it the right way, yeah, and anybody pay you forever, do, man. Especially the ones who are at the top right now, like, who are all the way at the top. Like, if they did their own website, like. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Um, hot topic right now. Um, first off, before we even do that, <clears throat> as I, as I got here today, I saw you all back with your son and I just was like kind of from a distance watching your relationship. How old is your son? Just turned 19. 19. I got a 16 and a 10 year old boy. So I'm like watching and I'm just like, as a father watching you interact with your son. Yeah. And I'm like. You can see this 19-year-old boy that, like, he want to be hard, but he right up underneath his pop. Like, even when you're getting your cut, he like, look, Dad. He like, you can see the love and the and the way y'all engage with each other, and I respect that shit a lot. Right. Um, obviously, like, what's going on on the Internet right now, um, you and T.I. and uh, your, both of y'all kids have been um, in, a, in a verbal back and forth with Charleston White. <laughs> Yeah. And and this one I, I don't like. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it. Cause Charleston he my nigga. Like I fuck with a nigga. But I don't like this one. And I, I typically tell Charleston when I agree with him or when I disagree with him. I'm one nigga that like I'ma sit there and tell him, I'm like, hey bro, I be fucking with you when you say this shit, but you nigga, you tripping right now. I'm that nigga. I'm always be like that. I'ma tell my niggas when I when I fuck with something you doing. And I'm tell you when I don't like what you're doing. And I just want to ask your opinion, man. You know, and I know you've avoided talking about him. I ain't really got no. I ain't really, you know, I ain't really got no opinion on him because you know, my opinion can send me to prison. So I ain't really, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really got no opinion on him. You know, once you, once you go to threatening people, kids, talking about you, you, you gotta lie. So, you know, I ain't, I ain't the one going to do all that. I ain't going to do all that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, hey, you know, certain people, you can't, you can't really express opinions on, and, and, and he one of those. You can't express how you feel because you might end up in prison. And I ain't getting tricked off the streets. Not me. What do you say to your... Uh... To your son. Bro. Oh, I told him. I said, man, don't go back and forth with nobody. No, no, don't, hey, don't do that, bro. I said, man, don't, I said, don't even, I said, don't even engage in it. I said, don't even engage in it. I said, man, you see the dude been coming at me. I, I'm not gonna say nothing. We won't. That ain't how we rock. You know, that ain't that ain't how we rock. He said that he he uh, brought you up because uh, you were attacking Kanye because of the. Uh... Nah, he been but that was this Kanye West shit just happened. That nigga been coming at me. <laughs> he been coming at me. It's just you know, I can't respond to 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 the, to those people, bro. Like that's that's a danger to what I got going on. You can't take no risk of, of losing this shit behind, you know. That dude out to lock you up, you know, he he's out to lock you up. And he ain't going to trick me out the streets, you know. I don't feel he won't kill me, you know. He ain't going to trick me out the street. 
Talk about that mindset that you 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 even uh, using right now. Um, I want my balls, bro. Like, you but know, like, hold on, let me finish because yeah. it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of people who get emotional first. You know what I'm saying, and don't think a plan through or or, or their, yeah, their that's position. How just like two then king, they got emotion. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I'm I'm an OG, bro, you know. Like, I'm an OG. I'm way wiser than my age, bro. I'm an OG, bro, like, I done dealt with this, like, you know. (laughs) I've been doing this, I've been going, like, I done dealt with this. All this, I done dealt with, I done dealt with niggas fat mouthing in the cell all night. I done heard way louder mouths than, you know. With serious threats, you know. So it ain't it ain't nothing it ain't nothing I'm gonna lend my time to. It ain't it ain't nothing I'm gonna lend my nothing to, you know. He's been talking, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him keep on talking. Don't bother you none. Nah, it don't bother me none. You know, when my son get in it, when my son get in it. That's when it bothers me, mm. you know, because, you know, that's my boy. You know, I'm going to die for my boy. So, uh, you know, that's when it get in there, but I ignore it. You know, I, I ignore this shit. I'm a total tip, man. Ignore this shit, man. <laughs> but, you know, I'm a, you know, I, I know what dudes be looking for, and I, I play chess, bro. I don't play checkers. I don't play checkers, but I play chess. You see, I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't play no fucking checkers. I play chess, bro. I, don't, I ain't gonna let nobody bring me out there. You know who? Who I know not trying to hurt me. You know, so don't got no reason to try to hurt me. Yeah. I, I like you even uh, expressing that wise thinking because we get a lot of young niggas that that need you know, guidance from, from somebody that's been able to make it and have longevity. Um, let me ask you real quick. I, I asked Tip this too. Obviously, like, your music, man, is, like, something that you, you, you share this story. <clears throat> you you know, a lot of people, you know, say you influence the culture in a negative way. Yeah. Um, do you do you, do you have like any thoughts like on like the music you created? Like do you feel like that that it has a negative impact on the culture? Yeah, I feel my music had a negative impact on the culture. Of course. Look, I, look, look I'm, I'm a real deal street nigga. I raised all the street niggas. Like I raised all the street niggas. You know, half of my fans dead. Real shit. If I had all my boozer fans that I had in 04, who wasn't dead from 04 to 2022, it'll be boosting mania, nigga. It'll be boosting mania. Man, that's deep. It'll, it'll be boosting mania. 04, 002 oh, oh, to 2022, you know what I mean? And boosting his dead, who was living how I was living, nigga, it'll be boosting mania, nigga. Nigga, it'll be boosting mania. Nigga, the internet will be broke. Hmm. 50% of my people dead. Every concert I go to, somebody come tell me that my 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 my, my, my favorite fan dead. Yeah. And it increased over the years. Half my fans dead. That's why the people who, who I got gotta support me, bro. You know, boostermovie.com. Like, you gotta fuck with me. Like, they know most of my fans dead. My real fans, all them fucking boosted fans, man, they dead, bro. Real shit, bro. I made a song uh, on my one of my other albums called My Bad. You know, I was just rapping my life. You know, I ain't, you know. Shit. What do you think now about how uh, you, you see lyrics being used against artists and shit like that where uh, they're being prosecuted and shit like that? Do you think, you know? I don't think it's fair because uh, that's what we going to rap about. Fuck. You can turn anything we say into something that happened. I rap about swung down the street and, a, you know, and just something happened on any street. 
they can they they gonna make it smarter to where they can dis disfigure our raps. I don't think it's fair, you know. This new shit, I don't think it's fair. They did it to me, bro. Like, I don't think this shit fair at all, you know. Cause when I first came up, when I was rapping, I ain't never think whatever I rap about, I could go to jail for it. I never thought about it. I never got in the studio and thought about if I rap about this, I'ma go to jail for it. Like, this shit, they trying to water down the, the gangster rap and get us off the street. And Rico all our motherfucking ass. That's all they trying to do, you know. We just gotta be smarter, you know. The um <laughs> the the one thing about about like what you see now with I guess the, the, the younger generation with drill is like they all getting picked up on Rico's. Um I was sitting down with Young and Ace the other day. And uh, I was just hearing him talk about his pain, you know. He he talked about losing, like, eight friends and, you know, just, like, bro, like, damn, still young as fuck, man. And I, I just, when I, when I hear this shit, man, I grew up in North Philly, man, but it seemed like I got pushed in the direction where I kind of avoided, like, the, the, the bullshit. Yeah. And, uh... You know, I never lost so many friends like so many of y'all express, man. That's right. one of the things that, to me, like, it's always hard for me to identify with. Like, I can empathize, but I'd be like, damn, man, I can't even imagine where I'm saying that I lost three, four people around me, five people around me. What are you telling the kids now, man, to try to keep them from, like, that life, man? Because you you really not seen the, the, every, every angle of that shit. From being in an OG position right now, you talking to a 10, 11, 12, 13 year old kid, like what advice are you giving them? Stay alive, bro. You know, I ain't even been preaching that rap shit to them kids, like talking about. I ain't gonna even lie, I've been telling them, stay alive. Cause that's what it's about, bro. It's treacherous out there now, bro. Like. I ain't got no hope, bro. Like, this shit. This shit different now, bro. And they be, how, they be, how they be looking at me, bro, they be... Like, they be in the days, bro, you know. I be feeling like, look at them niggas looking at me like they'll do anything to, to get to this point. You know, so if I tell them try to be like me, them niggas might run in the bank. Them niggas might kidnap they fucking cousin, bro. You know, so I've been slick side not telling them on that rap shit when I go speak to uh, I just went and spoke to uh, Rice Street the other day. Mm-hmm. Uh, went in the jail, spoke to the Rice Street. Oh, I, went, I went everywhere and spoke to him. And... Another thing, bro, we got so many people lost in the system, bro. Like, this is all you see in that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about this motherfucker. Like, so I be, I be telling them stay out of jail, you know. Try to find, I be telling them find what God bless you with and go with it, you know. Because God going to bless everybody with something. Everybody going to get blessed with a talent. You just got to find that motherfucker and use it. Uh, so I just, you know, I... I'm, 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 I ain't been speaking the rap shit to him. Like, you know, I could tell, I tell him is, you know, it's a way with music, but uh, a lot of them ain't making it to 21 trying to be rappers and especially gangster rappers. They ain't, they ain't really making it to 21 like that. Shit crazy. That's why I be, you know, I be I be trying to tell them, you know, just stay alive, bro. You know, stay alive. You know, I be pushing them more to sports now, you know. Really pushing them more to sports, you know. Because uh, there's way more rappers dying than athletes. 
That's a fact. <laughs> way more. <laughs> athletes, way more money. The, the athletes that be dying be the ones that be trying to be rappers. <laughs> Them niggas be trying to be rappers too. Leave that shit alone. You think like? Do you think like the uh, state of uh, hip hop, like as far as being a rapper, is like now considered extremely dangerous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most dangerous job. I don't know nothing more dangerous than than uh than being a rapper. I mean. I can't see that more dangerous than being a rapper. Any day you might die. Like any day. Any day, especially if you in the jungle. Now it's a difference if you're in the put up. You know what I'm saying? But you might die on the weekend. You gotta do shows. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you going out in the mall, we gotta protect ourselves heavy. The police don't like us. Hoes might try to set us up. Anything. Let's talk about you. you I, I think I've seen about them, what two, three videos of you uh, recently pulled over. Yeah. What the fuck is you doing, man? Is, are they targeting you or you? Yeah, I'm being targeted, bro. You know, I'm going through a little town that I feel I'm being targeted. They seeing my cars and shit, and they, they fucking with me, you know. I mean, I ain't doing nothing, so, you know, I feel like they doing that to be famous in their little town, you know. I, I pull over bullshit, like, man, bro, you know I ain't out here causing no fucking problem. Come on. We in a fucking country. <laughs> bro, I'm 45 minutes from Atlanta. I'm not causing no motherfucking problems, bro, like. Come on, bro. And uh, I just feel like they be trying to get fame. And... So you want to be famous, bitch? Okay. I'm going to put your ass on live when you stop me. Look. Look at him. You know? So maybe your your daughter, when you get home, say, Dad, he's a good person. Could you see? Don't, don't mess with him. <laughs> Did you take the money, Dad? Yeah, that's what I hope. Yeah, I'm hoping one of you, your daughter will say, Dad, he's a good person. He take care. Do you follow his Instagram? So every time they pull me over, I'm going to put them on IG. And hopefully their kids say, Daddy, come on, Dad. Let him go, man. He ain't doing nothing. Smoking a little blunt. He ain't doing shit. Everything security in here, legal as a motherfucker. Firearm, legal as a motherfucker. Let him go, Dad. Come on, bro. I don't see why. Let me go, man. Come on, man. I might, I might, I might, I might sponsor the, I might sponsor something. <laughs> I might be a sponsor for you. You might need me. You know who I am. You might need me one day. That's what I be hoping. So every time you want to fuck with me, and I'm going to speed limit, you just want to fuck with me. So you're not speeding or nothing? Man, I ain't doing shit but coming through, man. I'm coming through. Foreigns, man, you know, like, I guess they ain't never seen no shit out like this in the country. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I came out here to do the right thing, and, uh, you know, uh, you won't smoke. Like, like, come on, I already told him, I'm finna call Stacey Abrams on your ass. <laughs> I told him. I tried to say, I, you keep, I, I got, I got you. I'm finna call Stacey Abrams on your ass and Warnock. Yeah, I'm coming to Georgia. I'm doing the right thing. I'm a good citizen. I don't do that. I'm a good citizen. And that's the bottom line. They not finna run me. I got ran from the police in, in Louisiana. Fuck this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't going for it. Let's go. Do you still go back to Louisiana? Yeah, I still go back, but not much at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go back like that unless I'm doing something. Boosted badge. I'm doing boosted badge November 18th through the 20th. So I'm finna announce that tomorrow. So stuff like that. But I don't really go back. You feel like going back at, uh, home is one of the most dangerous uh, spots for any uh, yeah. artist? I always say it. I always say it. Because you know at home, that's where they want to kill you at. 
What? Why is that though, bro? I don't know. It seems like the motherfucker who sat across you from the in, in the auditorium, that motherfucker won't kill you. That motherfucker who she y'all used to have the same girl. That motherfucker that won't kill you, bro. Like them niggas close to you, you know, in your city, you know. And they killing for rep now, you know. I kill you, you got a name out. I get fame. I ain't gotta make no hit. I get fame out killing you. Now I'm becoming a rapper. It's a new hustle, not these niggas. You need kids to jump on. Now I'm a rapper. I can't even rap. I'm finna rap. Everybody buying this shit. All he talk about is a killer. <laughs> that shit crazy. This shit crazy. Roll me up, man. It's up to have. That um that shit with P and B Rock, you know, Nipsey, um, Cali's been like one of the spots recently. You just see like a lot of artists getting murdered out there. Um when you move around as an artist, is it at this point mandatory security, bulletproof? Like what? Uh how should an artist be moving now when they in these areas? Because you heard them say, like, man, you can't be at this spot or that spot. You got to move no less than about 10 deep. <clears throat> Nothing under 10 deep. Everybody, I say 10 deep. Yeah. At least about eight, nine people got straps. You got to roll about 10 deep, eight straps in Cali. You got to roll about 10 deep, eight straps. And shoot first because, I mean, the dudes who doing all this, they ain't going to the police. You got to you gotta roll 10 deep, man. Six, seven, seven guns and, and be ready, bro. I feel like you shouldn't be really out there unless you live in there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that shit is like now, you know, my girl lives uh, downtown L.A. and you just moving around and... In, in that area, it's just everything. That shit done got rough, you know? Yeah, you got people from L.A. moving out here, bro. Uh, yeah, you, you got, got people rough. from L.A. moving out that motherfucker. Like, niggas with money. Like, niggas like, man, this shit, they killing, bro. Like, this shit is, yeah. they robbing everything. Like, niggas, niggas moving what they got going in, in other states. <laughs> That's how real it yeah. is. You know? I mean, they leaving it. Niggas leaving they little people out there, but... A lot of big dogs getting up out there. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I got a couple homies like, yeah, we out. Yeah, jeweler, my jeweler was like, yo, man, I, I got five or six artists has been robbed. You know, yeah. he's like, man, I, you can't make no money right now. That shit bad. Yeah. Another thing I be I be wondering right now, right? Clubhouse. You know, Clubhouse has become like one of those uh, spots where every every day you hear whack one hundred. Yeah. Um, clip. I thought gangsters was supposed to be online doing like the whole back and forth type shit. Like it seems like now, like you hear like all the gang information, all the like street code shit, all like the shit that you thought that was supposed like to be like on social media. Like, yeah, what you mean? yeah. I'm you, a gangster. You know, I ain't no. You know, I be on social media. <laughs> but uh. As far as whack them situation, you know, uh, I ain't got on Clubhouse yet. Uh, I, I ain't the guy. Only time I saw it was, and I asked two of them, like, what's Clubhouse? He like, that is some shit when you go on there and you talking to everybody and they can talk to you. But uh, I ain't I ain't got on the whack shit. You know whack stay in some shit. I ain't, I, I ain't got no, I ain't got no, I ain't, I ain't got no what. The other day I got on Shade Room and I and I pull up some and I heard him in 21 going back and forth and 21 like, nigga, you just called me. They going off, so you know, I don't be really knowing people's situation, you know, unless it's my situation. But yeah, that, that's what I'm saying though. Like shit like like the 21 and, and uh whack going back and forth over like allegedly being a snitch. But putting that like on a public platform where like you I mean, you got to come back and put it on a public platform after a nigga say that. Because it's been on a public platform. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the fact 
to be a, on a on a live chat discussing that and not knowing if it's fact or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey. <laughs> it's some that's some wild shit. Yeah, bro. Because it's, some... it's a heavy accusation to put on somebody. You know what I mean? Bro, like when you put a when, when you put a rat on somebody jagged, bro. Like that shit ain't cool, bro. Like, especially you know like. I'm glad ain't nobody never put no shit like that on me. You know what I'm saying? Cause that 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 hurt, bro. Yeah. You know, I did too much, bro. You know, to stand up on this and to stand behind this, for you to do that to somebody. You know, like, like you gotta, bro. That shit, that shit crazy, bro. That's why I, I really try to stay out of all that, that internet, that internet shit, bro. Because when people go to saying all that and taking cheap shots at me, and I just be quiet. You know, nigga, you ain't gonna be real and keep it a hundred. How did you deal with the backlash of like when you was talking about like Nas X and you had the whole LGBTQ community upset because I know that had to be hell in your comments for a while. Uh, they still in my comments. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, still in my comment. All right, so look, y'all always asking me, hey, Tony, I need to learn the game. I need to learn how I can make some money. So listen, I got a special for you, and it's only for my people that are my listeners on the Get Your Ass Up podcast. Right now, for all my listeners, I got my Rona Proof book, right? 37 bucks typically. Right now, Get Your Ass Up, customers only. Use the promo code Get Your Ass Up in the checkout box. Right now, you get this book for 10 bucks. All right? Rona Proof. It's my 10-step system. Teach you step-by-step step how you can actually get into the real estate industry without a real estate license, without any credit, without even having any experience. I literally walk you through step-by-step step how you start actually working from home virtually and flipping real estate contracts that you can make anywhere between $5,000 or more simply by follow, uh, being a middleman. So go get your Rona Proof book right now. Use the code Get Your Ass Up. Uh, you'll see a link pinned down at the bottom, TonyTheCloser.com. Right now, go get your book, Rona Proof, uh, right now, Virtual Wholesale System. How do you handle that it's, shit? It's, it's just me standing up for what I believe in. I got a platform. I can speak, man. You know, you can't shut me up. Like, you know, if I don't agree, I don't agree. You know? And when I say it, you understand, I just might say it kind of fucked up. I say it kind of fucked up, but you understand what I mean. And you know, uh, that's all it was, you know. So they know I ain't got they hey in real life gay people, all the gay people fuck with boost. I fuck with gay people like they well, cool. all right, like, let me bro. let me ask you a question to uh, to, to uh, go on that and I know you got your own label. Yeah. Um would you sign Lil Nas X to your label? Nah, nah. I don't sign I don't sign no nigga out in you know, I had words with uh, you know, cause I felt like, you know, like I don't, I don't I don't do that shit. Like I'm I'm a real person. I don't I don't I don't, I don't So be... you can't make money with him, bro? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That ain't me, bro. Like I ain't you know, I ain't I ain't selling my soul. <laughs> that ain't me. You know what I'm saying? That ain't me. I ain't gonna do that. I got you know, I stand for something, bro. I stand for a lot of real solid niggas. Real solid niggas. You know. Shit that other people do, <laughs> nigga. You gonna, like, you gonna have them mad at you again, bro? Dog. It, the shit that you other, about to have them mad at you again, I'm just dog. saying the shit. I'm a real solid nigga. The <laughs> shit I stand on, shit that other people do. I'm just for it's all in the world. I couldn't do. I'd be banned if I did some of the shit that other artists do. All these other artists. I'd be like, bro, like they'll try to take my real nigga strike. I gotta stand on this real shit. I'm the only one on, on all real shit. Boosie got to stand on real shit. I'm the one who stand on real shit. You know that, bro. Like, Boosie got to stand on real shit. And it don't matter what situation it is. It could be this situation and that situation, that situation. How I feel is important to a lot of people because they feel the same way. This just ain't I, no, no, like, on, on like, none I, of like, that. Yeah, I told you, though. That was one of the things that, like, you, you were saying shit that, like, you be like, damn, bro. Nick, you got a point. Yeah. 
might not have said it like that, but niggas got a point. Right, right, right. right. Because, bro, I, I speak on reality, bro. Like, you know, a lot of this world ain't reality no more, bro. And I, and I judge things on reality. I judge life situations on reality. And, and that's what make me, bro, like... uh. People might be mad at something I say, but they don't hate me. They don't hate me. You know, I just, you know, they don't hate me, bro, because I don't hate people. You know, I don't hate people, and that's why I'm blessed, bro. Like, uh, that's why I'm blessed. Uh, I don't have problems with, with the gay community or nothing like that. No, you, you got problems with them. No, not not in in real life. I'm not getting attacked by gay people. Every gay people, every gay person see me, they be like, "Who's you speak some real shit?" Like they they're not, you know, they're not attacking me. They only attack me on social media and shit like that. But you know, all the gay people I, I meet, you know, they they salute me. Like they're like, "Boosie, you say some real shit, bro." Like they salute me, bro, and um. And I never had a problem, you know, until I expressed some and things I said. But you know, uh, they know as a person. Uh, I know as a person, and people around me know as a person that I don't have no ill towards gay people. What What about uh, female artists? Are you gonna, you gonna bring any female artists onto the uh, label? Yeah, I'm working on something right now. I'm working. I don't want to say nothing because you know, it might run off. <laughs> you had a. Uh... I had somebody had brought up um uh, Young Blue, right? Yeah. Is he your artist? Yeah. 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 He signed with you? Yeah. yeah. Did you have any issues with, with something with him? Yeah, we had some issues, but we tried to smooth him out. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that's kinda that's who we at. We trying to smooth it out, you know. You know, I'm just counting on him to Stand up for me, you know, and you know, and, and make make everybody do the right thing, you know. So, cause I, you know, I feel like he should, he should, he, he gonna stand up for me and get this shit behind us so we can keep on making money. What's been one of your hardest challenges with like being successful in family? Being successful with family, like in dealing with business with family. Um, shit, I don't got too many people in my family that's in my business, to my business-wise, except a couple. You know, uh, I done had, I done had, I done had bad family vibes, I done had good family vibes with business, but, uh, you know, money, bro, money, money gonna, money gonna bring Bad business regardless, bro. That's what people got to understand. The shit people do for money is going to bring bad business. You know, it's going to bring bad business. We just get to a level where you got to let the lawyers handle that. Because you'll be getting into it with every motherfucker. Right? We bosses now. You know, paperwork don't lie. You, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta do the right thing. But money is what fuck everything up. You know, money is what make your friends jealous, make them evil friends. Money is what make deceitful women. You know, money is what make a lot of shit fuck up. You know, that's why I go. I say don't, 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 don't value material wish. You know, that shit bring everything. You know, that shit make every everything. Not everything, but a lot of shit saw. But at the end, it's chess, because it's going to show you who what. Real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would you do differently in business that you uh, learned in your career? No, shit, you I would have stopped dug I, I would have been focused on rapping 2002, 2001. I would have been straight focused on rap. Rap, 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 rap. I would have been going to other states, fucking with niggas. Man, niggas been trying to fuck with me. Man, I'd have been, man, boy, I'd have been rap hustling like a motherfucker, boy. 
Shit, you think I was shit? I, that street shit would have been, man, that shit would have been. If I knew what, I ain't believe rap could make me, me that much money from making money in the streets. If I knew what rap could make, then I'd have been a, man, I'd have, I'd have been a motherfucker with that rap shit. Yeah. What, um... What I see you the other day, I saw uh, Lil Baby charge like 300000 350000 a feature now. Whew. Wow. When, <laughs> when you started being like a quarter million plus, six figures mm-hmm. plus for a feature. <clears throat> d- damn. I... What's the most you ever charge for a feature? Uh, 60, 70. These boys are going out there. Wow. <laughs> I said fucking 350. He's a shock right now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's crazy. What What's the most money you made in a year in uh, rap? Uh, I can't really discuss that. You know, I don't pay taxes, but <laughs> <laughs> but before I was paying taxes, you know, before I made, you know, I, I made money. But I made, I made money. That was before I was paying taxes. But I don't know, bro. You know, I don't know how much I made. I know one thing I do love, man, is being here at your place, man. You got you actually own real estate. Mm-hmm. Um, like a lot of real estate, as a matter of fact. You got you got some acreage back here. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the thought process behind uh, you you buying and and getting so much land and. Oh, this was Drew already on my sale. This whole estate it was already Drew on my sale. Just had to come home, get the land, build it. It was already drew the stairs, everything. X C them. She was already drew. I knew what I was coming to. It was already it was already put together in my head. Oh, you said in your cell. In my what? cell. In While my, you were locked up. Yeah. I had already drew my estate, Boosie Estate. I had already drew my estate. I knew what I was coming home. You know. I knew they wasn't gonna be able to take my shit no more. I was gonna get a land, my own land. And I was gonna do it right, so. And in, in four years, I, you know, this motherfucker was up. So. It took me like it took me like two and a half, two years to build it because I couldn't get on the <clears> road at first. <throat> when I was in Louisiana, I couldn't get on the road and do shows, so I couldn't make no money. So. It bitch took about, and when I got on the road, it was. It was all she wrote. I started putting it together. And I already knew what I was going to do. I already I had the bedrooms. I already knew what I was going to do, but I just had to get the money to do it. Tell me your thought process of being, like, you know, in prison and then, like, having the, the name of the show was called Get Your Ass Up. So, you know, you, you, you flat on your ass, you, you're in prison, and now you're having to get back to, you know, reestablishing yourself outside and making money again and, and everything else. What was that thought process? What was your execution like? Go back if you can just, you know, talk about which, where, where you were mentally. You obviously say you had Drew in your cell, your estate, but, like, what was your thought process on coming out and executing and getting back to where you wanted to be? First, my thought process wasn't really on... Um, on executing, it was just, you know, beating a murder charge. Mm-hmm. And I knew I was going to whip that pretty early, but uh, I'm going to keep it real. Like, you know, I made the most out of prison, you know. I wasn't a sad prisoner. <laughs> you know, like, um, I'm the kind of like when I get in there, I mean, I, I have fun. I gotta have fun because it's so many people hurting in that bitch, and I gotta turn the 
dorm up anywhere I go, I'm gonna turn it up. So uh, I wasn't as focused on coming. I was focused on trying to keep my peace of mind. You know, I'm getting a hundred letters a day. I know one thing. When I get back to these streets, I got a phone. I'm looking at I'm looking at social media from another page. I'm looking at social media. I'm going crazy on this motherfucker. Every time you see this free boosted, I'm looking like when I get out this motherfucker, it's on. You know, that that that, that all I was saying, you know, and I ain't want see you gotta you gotta mind think in prison. You don't want get too much excited about the free world. When it's so far away. If it's 17 months away, you don't want to start thinking about coming home that that next. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. You won't you won't keep your 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 peace of mind. And I I knew, like, bro, I knew, bro, I used to get so much love in jail from the mayor, bro. I knew that. I knew. Then I was. You know, I I had my, my my music in there, so I was listening to everybody scream my name, free boosted, everybody dropping my name in songs. So I knew, all right, I was sitting back like a motherfucking, <laughs> I was sitting back like, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. I already knew. Came out, took off. We obviously, you know, the rest is history. You got them. Um, another thing that, you know, I always be, you know, from the outside, I've never been to one. One of your pool parties, man. Right, right, right. Pussy everywhere. I got, a girl, pussy. I got a girl, though, man. I get, you know. You got a wife? Yeah, man. I just kind of, that's married? the, we not married. Okay. But we, we something you like invited. it. I'm invited. Yeah, as long as you, I got one rule for my part. What's the, what's the rule, bro? No married men. Hey, baby. I got threats. I got threats. I got <laughs> threats. I got threats from married women. Real t- touching DMs that touch me. Real touching DMs. Like, that touch me, bro. Like, like you know, that touch me. So, after my first part, I told them, if you got a wife, dog, you can't come. I got to have that much respect. Because you, because you might not want to go home. Your wife don't look like these IG models, man. Most of them, I'm telling you, man. Pussy everywhere, titties everywhere, friendly girl, good smoke. I'm talking about it's just beautiful. You know, pussy eating on the slide. <laughs> yeah, nigga sucking, nigga sucking bad bitches toes. Yeah, shit like I'm telling y'all. You ain't got nothing on me, man. No. Man, I'm, I'm Boo Hefner. That's what they call me. That's my new nickname. Boo Hefner? Boo Hefner. You can start saying on the interview. The nigga said Boo Hefner. Yeah, because I, I show people a good time, bro. Like, any artist who ever... I'm going to show you the time of your life. You're going to have to say, man, Boo Zane with all that. You're going to have... Hey, 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 Boo. Hey, Boo. I ain't with all Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to show you the time of your life. When you say... When you leave me, you gonna say, "Man, I fuck with that nigga." That's all I be want. Man, I that nigga show. Man, I fuck with that. You gonna have to let your hair back. I run. <laughs> I fucking run. Cause I, I got somebody gonna eat you up. I'm telling you, bro. I'm what was that? What, what was that edited clip? I was I was looking at clips of you last night. I'm going through YouTube and there's something like. Uh, Tomorrow, you want your ass ate? Did they? No, that's just no. Let, let me tell you how they flipped it on me. <laughs> let me tell you how they flipped it on me. <laughs> let me tell you how they flipped it on me. <laughs> so, for my last food part, all the girls telling me, Boosie, I want my ass ate. I want my ass ate. I want my ass ate. So, I did a drop action for booty eagles. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> so, they edit my, they edit, cut my drop. And put it like I wanted my ass in. <laughs> <laughs> social media motherfucker, bro. Hey, they, this is, hey social media motherfucker, bro. I said, yo. I what, saw it. I, saw, what, I said, y'all ain't shit. I said, what the fuck? Is, I said, I got the ass, Boosie. What the fuck was that, right? I yeah, said, that had took, to be an edit, man. Bro, they took my shade room shit that I was asking for ass eaters. 
and chopped my shit up and flipped it on me. Hey, bro, one thing I, I, I found from you that I, that I started doing myself is you you use your, your, your IG followers. Yeah. You're always asking them for something. Yeah. Hey, I'm me, a needy motherfucker. Bro, I realize, like, you, there's so many people connected in your followers, bro. When you ask, you be, I be really getting people. I be like, yo, I need something. Find it every time. If you, people don't know the power, like, the power of social media is real. You might get somebody who... You might be finna go to the store and spend twenty thousand on a can yam, anything. You say who got a can yam for sale? That same can yam that you finna go buy twenty thousand for, you will have nineteen of those can yams for different prices. The same thing. It's like the lottery. It's like it's like the fucking Jeopardy. This shit, this shit gonna pop up. And for you know it, you paying ten thousand for that same can yam. Might be free if he want to drop. Just say twenty thousand now for that post on Instagram. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm in uh, in Miami a couple of weeks ago, and the nigga ESTG walking through uh, uh, the mall. Some somebody had a fluffy. Yeah, he done fucked around, and bought the fluffy from the ball. Dude don't hardly want nothing from it. Drop. Likeness. Yeah. Likeness yeah. is key, bro. Likeness is a motherfucker, boy. You build your shit up, you get you get to that spot, you can exchange likeness is, is currency. Hell yeah, man. I got I got twelve dollars back there. I paid for three. Yeah, yeah, I seen a big ass motherfucking cane corso when I came. I said, "Come on, man!" I got to beat masters. I got all kind of shit. Bro. I said, "Man, big ass dog, come out here!" I said, "Man, get this big shit." <laughs> big ass, he come walking too. You can tell he was. He was like, "Let me go see who you is, nigga." I'm like, "Nah, I get back in the truck." I'm <laughs> back in the truck, nigga. Um, what's what you think next, man? You you got like three, four Instagram accounts deleted. Um, next is Where's MJ? Uh, what's my next film? I'm gonna drop it on Christmas. No, I'm talking about what's next when you gonna create your own platform at some point. You just gonna I got somebody working on some shit right now. I got, I got a few moguls that tapped in with me trying to work on some shit. And uh, you know, I'm trying to get my own Instagram platform, my own Instagram. You know, and I and. and, and it's uncut and uncensored, bro. And uh, cause a lot of people be pissed off when I get off Instagram. They be mad at me. Like I'm like, they took my shit. You mad at me? What the fuck you done did? I can't see you when I wake up. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I mean, I've been I've been going, I've been, I don't know. Hopefully something gonna come. Something gonna come where I can be me, do me. Entertain the world. You know, I've been having to go on Twitter. They doing some fucking on Twitter. Boy, they, boy, they fucking on Twitter. Hey, hey Twitter is oh, crazy. Twitter lit. What? I've been missing out. <laughs> Man, they doing some fucking on Twitter. Pussy eating all kind of shit. All you got to do is swipe down. <coughs> they ain't got to go to Pornhub, all that shit. <coughs> Man, you go on Twitter. Man, they got some... Action on that bitch. I ain't lying. Twitter lit. I did not know. Hey, bro, one day, who, somebody was like, bro, my likes is lit. I click on their page, look at their likes. The whole joint is straight porn. I said, oh, my God. I said, hey, look, this shit here is cr-. I mean, they got, I don't need, man, Twitter, there ain't no ain't no content restrictions on that bitch. You it got can't that. be. It can't be, bro. It's, it's off the chain, bro. Yeah, Twitter different. They different, different over there. They got that bitch wide open. I'm talking about wide open. Hey, hey, what's your uh, favorite restaurants in uh, in, in Atlanta? Uh, Busy Bees, uh, ATL King Crab, um, Milk and Honey, and Roof Chris. <coughs> <laughs> what uh I know you got uh five or six you said baby moms. I heard yeah, several. yeah. 
How do you uh, manage it? No, no drama, no nothing with them. Don't fuck them. That's how you manage. You don't manage your baby mamas. Don't fuck them. You just have straight relationships with them as far as with the kids. Did you, you ever get them. child support or anything from them? Nah, but I, I pay child support as far as well every month. I didn't pay child support my. Not court force, you just not court own. force yeah. agreement with the lawyers. Yeah, I've been paying that since forever. Did you see uh, Fifty Son talking about he was uh, upset that he was only getting like sixty seven hundred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, we need to light this motherfucker. We can smoke this motherfucker. Out. Oh, I got it. Uh, I mean, at first you ain't supposed to be getting no money out there eighteen, right? I ain't know you could. I ain't know you could get money out there eighteen. You know. <sighs> so that 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 that's a strike right there, you know. But I feel like I feel like Fifty doing it because of the time he missed in his probably probably missed in his life. So I feel like Fifty doing that out his heart. To, Pop y'all, because out of 18, in my house, in my shit, you're done. <laughs> you nigga, you finna hug, nigga, you finna hustle, you finna hustle with me, we finna, nigga, you're done. Monthly shit. <laughs> Gotta pay monthly my whole 18 years. Nah, nigga, you finna be a, you finna man up, nigga, you finna, you know, but I can't speak on nobody's situation, but. That's how I feel as far as with 50 paying and he 25 years old. I feel like he's doing it out of his heart. I probably would have did the same thing if, you know, if, if you know, I, I felt in my heart that I wouldn't have had a time for him. I would have did the same thing, been giving my son something. But, uh. He 25? Yeah, that's what they say, he 25. So, you know, like. He still getting money? That's what I'm saying. You know, he, he must have been doing it out of his heart. Oh, yeah, that's different. He must have been doing that out of his heart, bro. That's I don't, super I don't get no father son <clears throat> shit. Yeah, you 25, shit. I ain't never had no child support after, tw- after 18. Definitely not 25. I did this, uh, <clears throat> I did this thing, like, I really always ask people, like, just that one thing that you, you just, it keep you up at night that you feel like you need to accomplish or that you, you know, you regret or whatever. What's that? What keeps you up? Uh, shit don't keep me up. I don't go to sleep thinking about no motherfucking what then happened last or what they're going to be in the future. I get to go to sleep on thinking about the next day. The next day how I'm finna prosper and excel and do some shit. I don't, you know, like, I'm not happy, but I'm comfortable. I'm not happy where I'm at, but I'm comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm, I, I, I'd rather my smiles than a lot of shit, bro. You know, I feel this worry about memories, mm-hmm. you know. Once you get money, you successful, and it's great to have it, great to have it. But if you get money and you ain't got no memories, why the fuck did you have money? I mean, I, I I never understood that. Proud of me being the ghetto child, but you know, you gotta have memories, man. That's what that's what people live on memories. That's what you're gonna be judged on. How you affected others, all the memories you had, you brought to other people. You know, you can't be no motherfucking people. God bless people, and they don't do shit with it. You know, you are gonna have a billion pictures of boost. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be dying, ain't got no pictures on their obituary. Old ass made hundred something fucking me. Ain't did shit. Fuck two hoes in the last 45 years. With 90 billion. Fuck out of here, man. Hey, hey, so is it is it do you think uh men can be faithful? Uh yeah, they got some faithful men. I feel like hell yeah. So why you say that then? You make you make it seem like nigga get uh 
Nah, I'm just saying they got they got men who are faithful, bro. They got real, a real. What you, 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 you forgot? You don't think they got real Christian men now? Who really deep devoted into God? Nigga, you, that shit, nigga. God's still here. They got people who live by. It. I'm telling you, bro. Real shit. Every and, and like, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Everybody ain't cheating. Every woman ain't cheating. Every woman ain't no hoe. Every woman ain't she. What's the top five girls you uh, page you be uh, you be looking at every day? I ain't finna tell you that. Give them up, man. I ain't finna tell you that. <laughs> Give them up. Fuck bro. no. Give them up, dog. Shit no. That was a good one, though. Yeah. I'm ducking that smoke. <laughs> yeah, give me no. I'm yeah. ducking that shit, hey, no. Hey, 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 boo. I need, I need them. We need five pages to go look at. That, that, hey, let me, go, let me see your phone real quick. Let me hit the little chat. No, I can't do that. <laughs> That's a big one. You throwing me in a motherfucking spaghetti wrap. <laughs> uh, put, put him on the spot. Get, uh, give, <coughs> give, give, give us a couple of them, dog. I, I, I follow. I follow my my. Uh, I follow my uh, businesses. That's all I follow. I don't follow. I don't got no pics. You know. I don't got no you ain't got to follow. What's them five pages that you you like? Yeah, I gotta have her. Who I who can't the one? Who, 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 who you got that you like? Man, I gotta have her. Who 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 boozy crush? Who who the one you got on the list? My crush gone. Rihanna was my crush. My you said crush, Rihanna? Yeah, my crush gone. <laughs> I ain't. I wasn't really crushing on no industry girls like like that. I used to crush on older women when I was young. You know, like. What? Oh, yeah, Older they, women, you know, oh, that's when I used to crush. You know, when you 15, 16, 17, that's when, that's when you was really crushed. Like, I was crushing on, you know, Holly Berry, Maya, shit like that. Like, that's what I was crushing on all the women back then. Nobody right now? Nah, nah, nah. Girl, like, you know, like, if I'm seeing somebody, you know, like she she better than you know she better than them down, you know. They just be having a name, a lot of girls, but you know I'm flawless, like you know, like my like, yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> like for real, like if I'm like you know, like I'm a I'm a boss, so I'm gonna have a, some nice action. Everything I ever had, nice action. Top tier. Yeah, nice action, bro. I'm talking about nice action. You know? Man, I, I look at like the videos just from your parties and I'm like, this nigga living. <laughs> Bruh. Like that like for real, like you just look at that shit, you be like, yo, this nigga is living. Yeah. I told you memories, bro. Like <laughs> memories, bro. Like, I bring memories to people, bro. You bring memories to people, that shit forever. That shit forever. It's different from you, somebody saying, um, we did this, but they ain't interact with them. It's different when an artist interact with you. And I interact with a lot of people, and, cause I like to make people smile, because I feel like, you know, if you ain't smiling in your head, you talking about. So most of the times, even in the room, I don't even let people be quiet. If you sitting in a corner, be I'm just what up, nigga. I like your shirt, miss. miss. What you start, doing? Start a conversation. Yeah, because I like to bring people character out. Because I don't want them to be judging me in my head from what they seen I read. So if you come around me, be expecting to get put on site. Mm -hmm. The whole world need to know that. Yeah, because you might be talking about me in your head. <clears throat> How you managing your health? I know you uh you had a lot of health issues over the years, right? With sugar. Uh my diabetes been 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 I right. it been it been so so pretty good. I ain't been had no attacks in a minute. My leg still fuck I shut my leg, my leg still kinda fucked up. I got on it too early, so I'm finna go back in the getting my leg back strong, you know. But other than that, you know, I take it as a, I take it as a blessing, bro. Like, I still got, they took half my kidney, bro, from cancer. So, 
I got health problems, but I'm here, bro. Like, I don't feel that shit. You know, you know the only thing I feel is my leg when it get cold. It's my leg, I got iron in my leg, but I don't feel no fucking kidney. I mean, it's just with lessons. That's just was, you know, God, it's just lessons. <clears throat> What's your proudest accomplishment? Uh, mm, my proudest accomplishment. Uh, making it out the hood and finding, a, being able to take care of my people. That's my proudest accomplishment. Being a being boosted, becoming boosted. That's my proudest accomplishment. Becoming boosted, being able to be me and. Be the big dog. That's that's my proudest accomplishment. Being boosted. That's why I'm on this, you know, right here, guard and boosted. What happened with you and your brother? Uh, it was just some sour shit that happened, and I don't really want to get in detail, but it was just some sour shit that happened, and. That uh that could have been resolved and shit just went the wrong way, bro. And uh, but we finna figure it out, bro. Uh, we finna figure it out, like I say, so we can get back to making money. That's what I was gonna ask you, mm-hmm. like you know, I know, I, cause I'm, cause you know, I'm still, I'm, I ain't even being a dog with this shit, like you know, I ain't even stopping no records or nothing, you know, like I can. I can really be an asshole to this situation, but I'm not going to oh, do that. so it got something to do with the... Yeah, the, the, the blue. blue, all that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I ain't being no asshole to the situation. Yeah. I'm uh, being a businessman. That's what I got to do, be a businessman and, you know, get this behind us, you know. Hopefully for the year out, this, it'll be behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I hope, hope that you know y'all get that together, man. I had a, uh, I, I, I had my sister in business with me, and we had a little struggle for a minute. And it don't feel the same, you know, when you when when you don't get along with somebody that you loved, you know, care about like that. So, um, you know, best of luck to that for yeah. sure. Yeah. I, I know you. Uh, what, what you smoking, man? Oh, we can't say. I don't want to say the name. Okay. I'm right here, yeah, I have to pay me for that, bro. No, I can't tell you what I'm smoking. So what, what you normally smoke? Indica, sativas. What you normally be smoking? Um, I smoke the best, bro. Like, I smoke. Every the every everybody say they smoke the best. No, I know everybody in the world know Booster smoke the best weed. Nah, nah. Ask any nigga from the hill to motherfucking Georgiana. You don't even know where that's at. Nigga gonna say, nigga boosted, nigga boosted weed so fucking strong. Everybody gonna tell you, bro, I'm smoking the best, bro. Bro, I'm, bro, bro, I got, bro, I fuck with scientists. I got white boy scientists who love weed like people love, people love everything. I'm talking about who, bro, I got, I got, bro, I got, I got, I, got, I, I smoke real weed, bro, like real exotic. You put that Fonte shit in yours, or you just how you smoke? I don't know. I might well smoke a fucking cigarette. I don't put all that shit in there. <laughs> Two of them do all that shit. Roll a uh, cigar, put a paper on top, break some shit up. Put, what the fuck? Man, are you, man. Oh, I, I, I told you that. Put That's that a... bitch in a guard and roll it, man. I'm hey, not putting all that shit in there. Bobby Schmurder. Told your ass, nigga. Bobby in there putting. I said, bro, you making man, a cigarette, bro. Man. That's, That's cigar weed. Bro. So, nigga said, bro, you got cigar weed. Them young niggas, bro, I told to them, bro, that shit is too much shit. What the paper for? That's a Joe, nigga. Told, I was just telling them this two days ago. I'm like, bro, that's, bro, that's too much in that shit. What, bro? What, the, bro? I ain't on that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't on that. That's extra, though. So, would you just, you, you going, uh, yeah. uh, straight backwood, backwood. 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 Yeah. You want then on top of a backwood? 
Man, you smoking head bust. They said get them high as a bitch, though. That's what they say. You be smoking that shit, don't you? No, you don't put it, you don't put the fine to you. I'm like, yeah, nigga, that shit crazy. So you smoke the best. I smoke the best. I can't say that. Boosie smoke the best weed, like for real. For real. I mean, when you got a little money, you're gonna smoke the best weed if you're a weed head. Mm-hmm. I mean. And if you got a name, people want their best weed to you to market their brand. So I smoke, I then not smoke weed for free most of the time. I don't pay for weed, I smoke weed for free. I give you a drop for your shit, you give me a couple bags. Yeah. I smoke for free. Yeah, that hey look, I got I gotta make sure I start getting drops on the uh bags. Y'all y'all holler at your boy, man. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. You'll never you'll never pay for weed. Cause you don't want to have no habits. Mm. I got a weed habit. You don't want to have no habit. You gotta conquer every habit you got. Always remember that. <clears throat> habits are liabilities. What you got going on next? You say you got uh, November. You got a movie coming? Is that what you said? Yeah, I got a movie coming November. Uh, it's the new Black Home Alone, bro. Called Where's MJ? Starring my son. Starring Desi Banks. Grove Hero. Flavor Flav. Me. It's crazy. I'm playing like four characters. It's crazy. It's Black crazy. Home Alone. Yeah, it's, it's called Where's MJ? Uh... Dropping on Christmas and uh, I'm working, man. Uh, my son finna drop some music. Uh, we shooting a reality show right now. We just finished shooting. You saw it. Mm-hmm. So uh, my son and King shooting a reality show. Me and Tip gonna be coming get on their ass and shit. Uh, this shit crazy, but it's real life. Mm-hmm. It's actually real life. Right. You know? like, it's actually everyday shit that we going through with with our kids. You know. What do you what do you say to your son, man? Because like I can see how close he is to you, and it, you know, like it's easy for our kids to pick up our mannerisms. What what do you do to like try to keep him from not going to call him, call him, check on him, see where he at, uh, preach. And he get tired of me, like you know, right? People might know, you know, like. I look like a fun daddy on camera, but I get on, I get on, I get on my churn ass. Like you know, I really make my churn mad. You know, I stand on shit. I don't break it for nothing. You know, like my churn. No, they got a a a, a good daddy. Mm-hmm. I let them do. I let them. I let them have. But they know they got a stand up daddy. They know when they finna do something wrong. They gonna think my yep yeah, what what my daddy gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I he hit me, he hit me. I know he hit me. You mm-hmm. gotta hit me. Yeah. But um at the same time, you gotta it's up to them to listen. Mm-hmm. Right. Me and Tip, we can we can give them the game a million times. Sometimes you gotta bump your head before you wake up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a I'm trying to be the crease so he don't bump his head before he wake up. You know what I'm saying? You gonna smoke weed? Well, I'ma smoke weed with you. Nigga, I ain't gonna put nothing in there to fuck you up. Well, you just smoke weed at the house then. Cause they got niggas a slip shit on my on, on, on one hour. I be on shit like that. It's real. I ain't gonna put nothing in my son <clears throat> like to fuck him up. What? With exotic. How did you how did you talk to your son about uh having sex for the first time? I just tell everybody know I got a dick suck at 16. <laughs> he said he wanted he, he wanted some action, you know. He was already, you know, getting involved, you know. He was already, you know, had a little girlfriend, but you know, that's what that's what daddy should be doing, you know, pushing Pete. Pushing pussy. Because if not, they going to be showing the other way. If not. 
Because all they got to do is open their eyes and turn on everything and turn on television and get swayed the other way. So, you know, because, you know, that's that age, you know, especially if you 16, you know, 15, folks, you playing with pussy. 13, you jacking off. You know, <laughs> you know, real shit, man. Come on, man. We're going to be real. All, oh, come on, bro. This motherfucker laugh. I'm serious as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm serious. And so 16, hey, you, hey, it's time to be getting your son some pussy. Real shit, man. Real shit, man. That's main, main age. You heard me? We better put at that. At 10, at, hold on, at, 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 at 9 or 8, you're throwing crosses to him. Look at that ass, son. You heard me? Look at that hey, ass. Hey, you know what's crazy, right? You're training them. You better train your fucking children. Oh, the world going to train him. The, the crazy part is my, my youngest son, he 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 must have been automatically pr- uh, programmed because he I done walked in on him one night. He fell asleep with a laptop in front of him. I opened up the screen. I'm like, this nigga here looking at ass. Yeah. It happened to me too. I caught kind of my, my 13, yo. I, I didn't know how to reply though, bro. I went through his phone. I fussed at him, but as soon as that nigga left out the kitchen, I was smiling like a motherfucker. I did the same shit. I started smiling, and laughing. I was like, "This nigga just like his daddy." Yeah, yeah. But what do you like? Real talk, like just I, I want to have some father talk for a minute, right? What's the like? How what's the right age to introduce like fucking, and what's the right age to introduce like talking about getting head? And it just, to, you gotta to, understand. You gotta understand, bro. The apple don't fall too far from the tree, man. If you if, if your son, like if your son was raised around all this, you know, he might want to go another way. If you raised around a daddy who is showing you manly things that's turned on the women, by the time you 11 and 12, you're already turned on by women. From looking at your daddy bitches. <laughs> and your uncle, I'm telling you real shit. <laughs> you don't put you don't, you don't, your pussy ain't never been in, in their eyes. Yeah, you got them at the hair shops with the fucking mamas. When them boys supposed to be with their fucking daddies in the back seat. Yeah. Listening to fucking music. Rap music. <laughs> 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 Fucking hey, right, man. You better. <laughs> she. Hey, that's real though. She, you see it now. Look, he like she. You fucking right. That's real though. All right. So, so we telling. All right. For for the dads out here, we try. I'm trying to give our dads advice from Boosie. 16 years old, what we what we teaching our kids? Uh, we asking them what they doing right then. As far as, I ain't talking about just as far as them, I'm talking about for what, you, what, nigga, what you finna do? Like, what you finna, what your plan is? You know, what your plan? They finna graduate that nigga next year. You gotta be warming them up for life, bro. For life, bro. For life, bro. By the time they 16, they gonna they bro, they 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 showing you they character. They showed you they character, you know. They didn't show they they coming home at 11 and 12 talking about girlfriends. You know. They showing you they character and, and and bro, like I wish I had a dad, bro, when I was 16, you know. To that I ain't have to learn from the streets. Cause if they don't listen, if we don't got a dad, you ain't you gonna learn from the streets as a man. You ain't gonna learn everything from that woman that a man gonna teach you. So dads are important, bro. It's just sad that dads get the most, the least love out anything. So how much do you actually teach your son about fucking? Uh, my son already knew it was fucking. I'm I'm, I'm schooling like- him about putting on rubbers. His motherfucking ass don't want to put on rubbers. That motherfucker had a plan B down there. I said, what the fuck? 
You got motherfucking plan B. Nigga, you ain't, nigga, you ain't learn? Put something on your fucking dick. I told that nigga. I flashed the fuck out. Saw them fucking plan Bs. You believe that shit. <laughs> All right, so but but that goes that goes to the conversation though. Like, what are we supposed to be having more detailed conversation with? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I haven't like I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like I you know I asked my son if he was active, but he was like, no, nah, dad. He's like, I'm chilling. No, nah, I ain't. You know, he kind of he like shy. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. How do I break that conversation where he kind of you know comfortable to talk about it? Plus, you know, what I mean, really say like, yeah, dad. I'm you know. You I gotta break it down. Get, you gotta break. I, you, I want to get a piece of pussy. You you gotta you gotta you get you gotta break it down as far as more friendly. Then is you fucking you want fuck, son boy. I know you got some pussy yet, yeah, boy. You ain't got no pussy yet, yeah, boy. Look at this nigga pussy. You know, <laughs> make him laugh. You ain't got no pussy. You gotta make him feel comfortable, bro. That's a dad, bro. You can't have him. You gotta make him that nigga. That's a son. You had a girl scared. The daughters, you had them scared. You had them scared. But that's a son. You got nigga, nigga. What you doing, nigga? Look, nigga, what you got some hat on there? What you doing, nigga? What the, you ain't doing that yet, nigga? Who's over here beating the shit out of you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just man, Titan man. That nigga no real shit. That nigga no man. You gotta yeah. fuck yeah. You gotta yeah. yeah to where he put him on front to where I'm doing. Yeah, he gonna bring him tell you. Yeah, and make sure make sure we have a couple of partners right there. Put them on front back. Your partner might tell you, for you. oh, he ain't tell you about Tasha. Ooh, yeah. Daddy shit, I'm a little more experienced than you. I got eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's the type of shit that, you know, my dad never approached me with, with sex at all. Like, nigga, I was out there fucking on my own. I had to learn on my own. Yeah. My dad approached me. Yeah, that's that's some shit. I, I was curious to know. So, so you think like really like one of the things that a father really probably is misstepping on is not really speaking openly about it and making it comfortable. Yeah, you gotta talk to him. Yeah, you gotta talk to your kids, man. You gotta talk to him, bro. You gotta you gotta talk to him. Man. You don't talk to him, you don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I, I told you I was I was just like really I was loving the engagement watching your son next to you. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then you see, see once they get to talking to you about woo the woo, you got them. You know you you know you know when they lying. They lies gonna tell one side of their body and they truth gonna tell another thing. The most time they truth gonna be in tears. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was like I, I could really see like damn he he's really up on you. Like you can Yeah. 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 And that's more since he just graduated because you know, I can't let my son be in no he can go on in those streets and you know, I try to keep an eye on him wherever he go, you know. I mean you know, he ain't no good at two shoes. Mm-hmm. You know, I ain't gonna come on this motherfucker act like I got no golden boy. You know, I'm proud he ain't in jail. I'm proud I done raised him to where he ain't no ignorant motherfucker. He ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I, I raised a good boy. You know, he ain't, you know, like, we in a state. Right. Like, you know, this nigga living in our state. We been living good. We been living good, bro, you know. Even though, you know, he was kind of raised the wrong way. It's up for me to help, help that right now. You know, so that's why we got that bond like that. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we understand and he know what my mission is. He know my mission to keep him out of shit, keep him alive, keep him. And that's why, you know, we got that bond. You know, I ain't, I ain't going for it. Like, you know, I ain't going for it. And I let him do him. Like, you know, like, 
long as you listen, you you ain't doing no wrong shit, I let you do you. Like, you know, my son could go downstairs with a bad bitch in his own room right now. His own flow. Really. Like, I ain't gonna be told nothing. I ain't gonna, gonna, fool gonna get brought to, I ain't gonna be told nothing. Like, I don't be on my son about, like, if he ain't doing shit, he could, he could do him. Like, that nigga, I let that nigga do him. I, like, I don't be on that nigga like that, but when he fuck up, it's, that's when we bump heads and, and, <clears throat> That's when he, he, you know, he say, you know, he get mad like I'm tripping. No, I ain't tripping. I'm tripping because all the times I've been letting you do you. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. That's what's up, man. Um, where we at? Hey, it's your boy, Boosie Badass. We done just turned up on Get Your Ass Up podcast. So get your ass up. Go on. That's a wrap for today's episode of the Get Your Ass Up podcast. Thank you so much for joining me in this journey of learning, growth, and self-improvement. I hope you found value in our discussion and feel inspired to apply the insights we've shared to your own life. If you enjoyed the show, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and share it with your friends and family. We're committed to providing you valuable content to our listeners, and your support continues to help the growth, and I want to over-deliver on that promise. I'm your host, Tony, to close, and I want to remind you to never stop striving for greatness. Keep pushing yourself. Never give up. And remember that we're all in this together. Stay tuned for more empowering episodes continuing our way to success. Until next time, keep moving forward. And remember, get your ass up and make that shit happen.